Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of February reading for you all. February 16th through the 28th reading for Aquarius. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. My heart, my thoughts, my prayers go out to everybody that's going through nonsense at this time. It just seems like there's a lot of nonsense going on, so... Um, please stay safe, you all. Hang in there. I feel like things are going to get better. For everybody. All right. See what we got. Seven of Pentacles. Temperance. Four of Wands. Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. You're clarifying. Nine of Wands. Ten of Swords. Eight, <clears throat> eight of Pentacles. Blossoming Abundance. Caring Connections. Those are two beautiful cards. Get more information. Meditation brings answers. Give me just a minute, okay? You know something? I kind of feel like that you guys, with this Three of Swords, maybe this Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, even the Nine of Wands, I kind of feel like that you guys are going through a little bit of sadness and a little bit of aggravation, a little bit of stress. And it's, it's not only you all. It, it's a lot of other people. Um for maybe the same circumstances, or maybe they're a little bit different. But I just feel like that there's a, a little bit of a sadness in the air, in the environment, in the world, to be quite honest. And I feel like that a lot of you guys are about to see something change or see something happen that's really going to put you in a much better place. Because I feel like that sometimes, like with this Nine of Wands right here, sometimes you guys are protecting your um, your home, you're protecting your job possibly, especially with this Eight of Pentacles here. You're protecting your family. You're protecting your image. And what happens sometimes is something else or someone else or another situation comes in and kind of ruins ruins things for you they kind of take things from you and maybe not physically take them you know maybe not like steal them from you but just take um 
maybe your business, for instance, or maybe your job away from you, or maybe your, um, your peace of mind sometimes, right? So I'm feeling like that you guys may be, when you're listening to this, may feel a little down or a little blue or a little like you have uh, no control over certain things that's going on in your life. And that could possibly where this Ten of Swords comes in too. It's like two steps forward, three steps back sometimes. You know, you think you've got something figured out, something else fl flies in and you're like, holy cow. I can't take another um, predicament in my life at this time. But I do think, and I really do think this too, that there's something coming in that's really going to make you all take another fresh breath of life to a certain extent. So when I say that, I mean like maybe there may be something that comes in that gives you um, a kick in your step. <laughs> A little bit of a, a dance you know a little bit of a grin a little bit of a, a happier moment in your life so that's how I'm feeling about this you know when I get these two cards together I'm feeling like the five of cups is one of these sadness cards or something that you feel like you've lost and it may be something um, physically or it may be something that you just feel like you've lost emotionally or spiritually. And then all of a sudden I get this Seven of Pentacles above it saying, there's going to be, in my mind anyway, with this Seven of Pentacles, almost feels like a blessing in disguise. Sometimes, let's say, okay, let's say right now you're having an, a hard time with finances, for instance. And then all of a sudden something comes in that gives you a break on a bill or maybe someone sends you money or helps you out somehow some way your boss may give you a raise for instance or a bonus or um, you know for some of you it could be the government giving you something things like that and then all of a sudden you're gonna be like wow that couldn't have come at a better time so maybe it's something like you've lost your job and you're looking for another job and then all of a sudden you get this better opportunity especially with this eight of pentacles you know when i get these three cards here together you guys may have lost a job you may have been laid off you may have lost your business and and it just feels like when it when it, it rains it pours but then all of a sudden something else may come in with this eight of pentacles and then you're like you know what that's an even better job that's a better paying job that's a, that's a job that I would like to do more than my old job. And it kind of makes me feel like that then things are going to switch over for you. Then when I, you know, just like this Three of Swords and this Four of Wands, you go, I feel like you're going from a sadness to something that you're building on, something that you're going to be proud of, something that you're going to be able to um, call your family and friends and say, guess what? I just got bought a house. I just opened my new business. I just found out we're pregnant. Whatever it is that you're so excited about. Maybe it's moving somewhere different, you know? Maybe it's going back to school or getting that college education or getting a, a certificate for something. But these two cards, they, they make me feel like on one hand you're going to be sad about something, but on the other hand, here comes something better that's coming in that's really going to, to make you feel a lot better about certain situations. Then when I get these two cards here in the middle, you know, temperance... Um, is a balance of maybe two different things or more but in, in in these cards it's like it's it's water and fire and she's kind of balancing them out so when you get temperance it, it in some degree it could be that you are finding the perfect ingredients for something specific in your life whether this is actual ingredients or whether this is something like um, the right job in the right location and the right apartment that goes right beside it. You know, that kind of thing. Maybe it's the, 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 the good business idea along with the website. And then, you know, whatever it is, it just makes, and it can also be creativity. So when I, I see it, I feel like you guys have this creative edge that you guys are, are about to either 
run into something, open something, finish something, um, discover something that's really going to be miraculous to a certain extent in your life or for you and your family. Then when I get this Ace of Pentacles below it, I mean, you all know this is a beautiful Ace. It, it can stand for wealth, but it can also stand for your happiness, for your security, for your um, well-being in general. So I'm feeling like even though you all may feel at this moment like you're feeling a little bummed out, like you're feeling a little bit blue, you're a little bit depressed, um, a little bit oppressed. I mean, some people are, are feeling like they just can't, um, can't get back to the normal. So if you're feeling like things are just crumbling in on you, I feel like that's about to change you all. Um, and I have this get more information and meditation brings answers. Well, I'll be the first one to tell you. If you meditate, if you pray, if you believe and have faith and stay positive, positive things will start happening in your life. I'm a firm believer on that. When you, if you go to a party and, and you t you're talking to a, a negative person and a positive person, who would you rather be around? <laughs> I mean, right? So you're not going to want this person that's always depressed and, and everything that they say is, is, you're just like, holy cow, let me get away from this person. But you always want to be in the more positive uh, environment because that makes you more positive. So if you all need, don't hesitate to meditate. Don't hesitate to pray and to ask for certain things in your life and have faith and believe that, um, Certain things will happen for you if it's meant to be and realize that there is something coming in with this blossoming abundance. This is a blessing to you. This could be wealth. This could be uh, something great that's going to open up your eyes and give you something. And, and in my mind, it's almost like a blessing that's coming in from the universe that is really going to to make you all a lot happier than you may be at this time. And then, of course, with this Eight of Pentacles, you know, I see this as jobs, career changes, promotions, something that you guys are fantastic at that you may be getting, um, going to the next step with. So some of you all may be getting a phone call or, or some sort of um, um, offer that's going to come in that's going to give you a promotion of some sort or a new um, new title or a pay raise or um, maybe even be able to work from home so maybe even open your own business here if you're looking for a job apply apply now you might be getting it very soon if you're looking to do something at home you might be finding out that you you are able to work from home um, or even you might be opening that new business that you've been trying to open. So I see this as a good thing, even though I feel like that there's going to be moments when you guys just feel like you're being, um, like when it rains, it pours. Let's just put it that way, you know, and, and we all are going through it at certain times. But I feel like that it's really going to change for most of you guys. So I'm excited to say that. And don't forget about this caring connections, right? So this could be someone in your family helping you out or supporting you or giving you some sort of advice or money or a place to stay. But it could also be someone in your love life that might be coming in. Someone that may be um, giving you a little bit extra oomph in the time of need. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Let me show you how I see it. Now, some of you with this may have lost someone in your life, or you may have lost a business. You may have, um, maybe you're just sad over everything that's going on right now, and I understand that completely. I'm going to put that last. Nah, I don't know. 
these two at the end here. These are, this is, you're going to be pleasantly surprised on how you're going to feel in just a couple of weeks versus maybe how you feel right now. So when I get the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords, I mean all of these that are kind of making you feel like um, things need to change in your life. You're sad about something that's going on. Some, for some of you it could be something that's going on in your personal world or for some of you it's something that's going on outside of your personal world. Maybe in your environment, maybe in your city or your state or even what's going on in the world right now. Um, so I just feel like that you're kind of a little bit bummed out, you're a little bit sad, you're a little bit, um, it's, it's kind of depressing you a little bit, but I feel like that's about to change and that's about to roll over. With this Seven of Pentacles, you know, this could be you harvesting your fruit. Sometimes it, it takes time for your, um, for something to come in for some of you, but I also see this as a blessing in disguise kind of card or a blessing for financially for some of you along with this blossoming blossoming abundance is a blessing card from the universe so i do feel like you guys are going to feel blessed before you know it um, then i get this eight of pentacles now this is something that you've mastered in your life something that you're fantastic at so whether you get a new job doing something that you're really good at or whether this is uh, you guys finishing college or getting your license or degree to do something um, i feel like that there may be some sort of financial reward that may be coming in for some of you especially with this ace of pentacles over here too um, some of you all may be getting a promotion, you may be opening your own business, you may be getting a new job that's paying more money, you may be getting a bonus, you may start getting um, some kind of retirement funds that goes along with your job. You know, it can go in a lot, maybe it's even um, health insurance and stuff like that at this time. So there's something about this Eight of Pentacles that maybe you felt like you had no control over and then all of a sudden something may be coming in for a lot of you that's really going to get you all excited. Then when I get this temperance, this just makes me feel like, you know, first it's creativity, but it's also um, peace and harmony, but it's... Uh, it may be mixing certain things together to come up with the right solution or the right ingredients or the right predicament or the right business. Whatever it is that you're looking to do at this time, I feel like that there may be some kind of uh, something that comes in that you guys are going to mix and match and make the right, um, if it's a problem, you're going to make it right. I have this four of wands that really makes me feel like, you know, whenever I get this, sometimes some people say it's, it could be a, a marriage card, and it can be. I always see it like there's a reason for you to have a party of some sort. So whether it's buying a new home, opening a new business, graduating college, um, getting engaged or getting married, it could just be, uh, I mean, not just, it could also be like finding out you're pregnant or having a baby. There's all kinds of, of reasons to have a party. When I see this, that's how I feel. And I feel like you're going to start building. You're going to have something that comes in for you. And on with that, you're going to start building with it. So it's like a foundation of something that you're going to continue to build upon and, and do a better. See, hold on. I was going to say make stepping stones almost. You know, you know when you're... You may get married when you're younger. You may get married, well, when you're older, you may too. But um, but when you're younger, you may get married, and that's the stepping stone. And then you may find out you're pregnant and have a baby. That's another stepping stone. And then you go out and buy a house, and that's another stepping stone. That's how I'm feeling with this Four of Wands. Like, you've got to start somewhere in order to keep building upon those stepping stones. And that's what I feel like a lot of you guys are going to start doing or continue to do throughout your life. For different foundations of your life. With this Ace of Pentacles, this blossoming abundance, this caring connections, it makes me feel like that there's something that's going to happen that's really going to put your mind at ease. And it's a happier, it could be financial, and it could be just your security and your happiness in general. It could be finding a place to where you feel like that this is the right environment for you. Maybe you're going to 
move from the city and move out to the country or something and it's just going to make you feel like you um, have more control or you feel better about your environment and and with this blossoming blossoming abundance this is like a uh, gift from the universe a blessing basically so you're going to feel like you're blessed by the end of this month beginning of next month i do have this get more information but anytime you're doing something different, whether you're getting a new job, whether you're opening a new business, whether you're buying a new home or getting a new apartment, um, whatever it is, there's something that you need to look into, okay? You might need to look into, is this apartment in the right area? Is this a good area? Is this the schooling the right ones? Um, you know, that kind of thing. If the job situation, you wanna look into how many hours they're wanting to give you, how, what are they gonna pay you? Um, are you gonna have to work at nights or during the days? Something about this get more information makes me feel like whatever it is that you guys are switching over to at this time, you need to dig into something, okay? Because it may make a big difference on whether you take that job, take that apartment, buy that new house, go to that college or that school. There's something that you may need to look into and gather this information before you make up your mind completely. It might change your mind to a certain extent, or it might give you a better sense of um, what to expect in one way or another. So remember that. But overall, in general, if you guys are feeling like this, I see that twisting around in, in just a minute. I say within the next week or two anyway um, and you guys are going to see things in a much better way honestly makes them that's how i feel about it this is a great reading um, aquarius i hope you guys have enjoyed it today this is your second half of february reading february 16th through the 28th reading for aquarius hope you guys have enjoyed it and i hope you guys come back and see me take care you guys i'll see you soon